so students it's already december and you just have five months in your hands right and the biggest question that students ask me right now is ma'am i don't know if i'll be able to do it or not and you know some students they have done so much hard work in past two three years but in the last few months they panic and they uh, set wrong direction because they don't know how to utilize the last five months so the proper utilization the proper strategy i'm going to give you for last five months in this video so let's talk about that first is subject wise strategy then test analysis and revision repetition so firstly let's talk about subject wise strategy so every single subject you divided into three parts first is done half done and untouched done will be you will do periodic question revision like you will start practicing questions half done you will go through theory or some concepts that you find difficult right then question practice and the one that are untouched you will start it from zero from teacher lectures i would advise you go through one shots or go through uh one uh, let's say one chapter is divided into two parts right go through that in in those kind of lectures things are in detail and also you can watch it on 2x speed as well so that will really help you you can find this on this channel as well right so now if i talk about ncr uh, biology it's all about ncrt and the information is divided into three parts first is concepts core concepts where i would advise you go through teachers lectures for that then cramming parts which you need to memorize for that make your own short notes uh, paste it on the walls because these are volatile topics right then highlights this you can see by it is actually pointed out by teachers or you can also also see it in the previous year questions actually statement based questions are formed out of these highlights right then what is the sequence the sequence is firstly go through teachers lecture right then see ncrt right then what you do read the ncrt page of the topic to be covered in today's lecture right either way you can do it firstly you can see the ncrt right go through that if the lectures now some chapters are easy this is i'm talking about totally untouched right so if you want to watch a recorded lecture right of if you want to watch a live lecture the chapter is quite easy like moderate level then go through ncrt first read it out see and after that attend the lecture and if you know that this concept is very difficult you won't be able to understand just by reading ncrt then go through teachers lectures then ncrt that is the sequence right then add notes on the sides of ncrt whatever is covered in the teachers lectures that should also be pointed out in the ncrt so ncrt is like fully uh, red red blue blue marks you should have over there right then highlight all important points according to the teacher because teachers from their experience knows the best right so you should take advantage of that right then physics i know physics is your pain point and that is why a good teacher is very important and that is why i would advise you at this point don't read ncrt or physics rather uh, attend lectures one shots go through those one shots right revise your notes at least four or five times by feb formulas and practice is very important here right teachers notes are everything for you teachers lectures are everything for you right and practice question is everything for you for physics don't go through ncrt right at this point chemistry see inorganic chemistry is like bio ncrt 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 for coordination and chemical bonding also you have to attend the lectures as well right but ncrt means understanding the ncrt understanding the tables the graphs everything then physical chemistry is like physics in this case also ncrt is reading is not important for you at this point you don't need to get into that but here it is must in inorganic chemistry and bio it is must so here you can ignore ncrt but if you're ignoring ncrt you should definitely do some important numericals from ncrt the questions from ncrt that you must do in text questions you must do right then ncrt exemplar you must do previous year question practice you must do here right and also guys formula sheets right in physical chemistry will help you uh, retain all the formulas that are there for organic chemistry master goc and then only start with your class 12th organic chemistry if goc is not good 
then you are going to end up do so many mistakes in the exam right then practice mixed conversion in ncrt they are so beautiful conversions that are written from this to this what are the steps that are possible so it is brainstorming so i would advise you to do that right so reaction plus reagent notebooks will also be there for you naming reaction distinguished test reagent notebook all of that right now in chemistry what you will do firstly watch lecture make detailed notes of the lecture then class revision and question practice then ncrt if inorganic chemistry is there ncrt is a must right ncrt highlight ncrt solved example add ncrt points to the detailed notes right so you have to combine that especially in inorganic chemistry and bio right now let's talk about question practice so for all these three subjects stick to only one notebook here one book here only one book right and uh, you should have a very good test series here right if you don't have test series then focus on the previous year questions that you should have right at least past 10 years 15 years previous year questions you should be aligned with right then master the same question over and over again last 10 previous year question is a must i would advise you do J means previous year question of last one or two years as well. That will really help you because the conducting agency is safe, right? So now let's see the second cat, the second step that is test analysis. Now in test analysis, students, if you see, first you need to give small part syllabus mock test every Sunday, right? From now onwards, every Sunday you will give to your mock test every Sunday. You don't have to make excuses like, ma'am, my nothing I have done till now. Still do the, still uh, at least give a mock test. Part slavers mock test you do, right? A lot, two hours to analysis after every test. Three types of mistakes you will do. First is question was from a topic you have not done yet. It's okay, you have not done yet. So you don't need to worry about it. Second is silly mistake. Ma'am, I knew, but I still did the mistake. Then third is understanding gap. You don't understand the concept properly, right? And that is why you have completed that topic, but still could not attempt the question. Now, this is where you need to focus, right? This will be your first thing, right? And this also, these two things you really need to eradicate, right? Silly mistakes will be eradicated by practicing, an understanding gap when your concept is not clear you'll again have to go through the concept and you know make it clear so silly mistake is calculation mistake or did not read the question properly not why kind of questions right it was incorrect written by you misunderstood it so these kind of mistakes will be eradicated by practicing and the full hundred percent you should be in present right that you have to train your mind second is understanding so here let's see what see the pattern are you are you doing mistakes in the same kind of questions again and again in the same topic you're doing mistakes again again and again and that is a high priority topic as well then you need to see that topic you need to do that topic in like you need to give your soul to that topic right okay so you need to go back to your notes and revise it twice, go back to the question practice and make that your strong topic. Last is revision and repetition. This is where most of the students lag. Test analysis they will do uh, that. Uh, and this I'm talking about really good, like very hardworking students. First step, most like you will say 70% of students labors they have done once, right? That's not a big deal. But second step, test analysis where few students, maybe out of 70%, 50% students or 60% students are doing test. Then maybe only 40% of students are doing analysis of that test and understanding what is the mistake. And you know, till here, revision and repetition, you will see only 20-10% of the students are doing revision and repetition. And revision, even if they are doing, they are doing it in a wrong way. So let's understand that. March and April are crucial months. So here what we will do, repetition of syllabus or backlogs will complete, complete in April strictly for mock tests will do. Now let's see how to revise. Why I said that revision students are doing wrong. NCRT highlight, that is important. Side notes, that are important. You don't have to go through your uh, full chapter again and again. That's not how revision is done. 
right you should have a mistake notebook and every time you're doing any mistake in any mock test this mistake notebook is going to help you in the revision right you will see first revision is from ncrt highlights side notes for biology and inorganic chemistry physics notes plus formula sheet in physical chemistry notes theory in class question plus formula sheet and in organic chemistry reaction notebook and conversion these things should be there and in addition to this mistake notebook right while you are doing all of this in your revision in march you are also doing you are also taking your mistake notebook okay this is the mistake that i have done now do i still do that mistake okay this this particular topic was weak is it still weak that will be in march right so the proper pattern is going to be in december it has already 10 days already i'll say are gone right now what we'll do december to feb our full focus is syllabus completion we need to complete our syllabus anyhow that is the deadline that should be in your mind that by feb my syllabus should be completed you still have 3 months for that 3 months or if i take my, uh, minus 10 days it is still 80 days for syllabus completion that you have right so you can do that so if you complete your syllabus by feb then march will be once you complete your syllabus the test analysis and the revision is what get you that dream medical seat because syllabus completion every student you will see who is scoring less marks like they all they all have done a lot of hard work in syllabus completion but the smart work is when you have completed the syllabus have you analyzed yourself have you eradicated your mistakes that is important for you and this is the game changer and this is what you want to focus because march and april is going to entirely shift your game because of the last two points test analysis and revision repetition that i told you right so guys and one more thing for you we are coming up with something really amazing right for your syllabus completion for your mock test everything that will be there right so wait for it and i'm very very super excited for that right so that thing is going to come soon tell me in the comment section are you have are you excited for that and in our dna batch we have completed the syllabus revisions are going on and something big is coming for are those students who may be because of some reason they have not joined the dna batch previously it's okay you still have 5 months you still can change your game your full potential you need to use now and that is in your hands right so that's it for today students now i'll see you all in the next uh, video do let me know in the comment section what is the problem that you are facing in chemistry so that i can help you with that thank you bye bye